you think of adding color or interest to your garden, you usually think of planting colorful flowers, but what about attracting butterflies to your garden? That's one way to do it. We've got Melody McDaniel from Pike Nurseries for some tips on how to attract them to your yard or garden. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so what are some of the basic things that they need to want to be in your yard? Well, they need a source of food mm -hmm. uh, for when they're both caterpillars and when they're butterflies. They need a place for shelter and they need a place for water. So let's talk about a few yeah, of those what's options. considered food for them? Yeah, so when they're in the caterpillar stage, this is milkweed. And milkweed is a host plant for monarchs. It's actually the only plant they go to. Mm -hmm. And they'll lay their eggs on here. And when they hatch as caterpillars, they'll feed on the leaves. And then as adult butterflies, they actually feed from the nectar for the flowers. Okay. So this is a very important plant to have when you're trying to attract butterflies. But butterflies also love pintas. You can see this beautiful flower very here pretty. that's in red and pink. Mm -hmm. Cone flowers, which you see here a few different colors. Uh, there's a salvia here. So is beautiful the, plants. And let me ask, is this the one that is commonly referred to as a butterfly bush when it gets larger? That's actually behind you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Right here, the purple one. Okay. That's the butterfly bush and, and they flock to it. They really sure. do. So that's a great one to have. If you had one plant, I'd say milkweed. If you had two, I'd say butterfly bush okay. and milkweed. So yeah. that kind of covers the food aspect of it. What about shelter? Well, shelter, you can actually have a bug house. So this one actually Actually is one that you can put a little branch on the inside and they'll go in here and that gives them uh, shelter from bird predators. They also need a place to light. So butterflies actually have to have some sunlight on their wings in order to be able to fly. So if you have broader leafed evergreens in your yard like hollies, mm -hmm. uh, anise type uh, bushes, mm -hmm. that gives them a place to sit and, and absorb that sunlight. All right. And then also butterflies do something that's called puddling. Okay, what have is that? that? No, I have not. So if you see this here, we have a, a shallow um, dish. We put a little bit of um, sand and water and what they do is they gather together. You'll usually see a large group of them together here and they absorb minerals from the sand and you'll see them doing this in mud puddles as well. All right. So that's providing that. Um, bird baths are great for them to have a source of water okay. but you do also want to put some um, stones in there so it's not too deep. They have a place to lie. Okay, excellent. Do you have anything going on at Pike Nurseries in the we upcoming do. week? We do. We have classes about butterflies next week. If you visit our website, they're at select locations, but check it out and, and, and join us. All right, and we'll have that link on our website at fox5atlanta.com. Thank you, Melody.